All right, my friends, here's the reason why you don't buy $50, 3,800 watt amps off of eBay. You ready? When you think V12 amplifiers, you gotta think about Alpine. These hit the market in the late 90s, and these amps were just extremely reliable, very powerful, class AB, just robust amplifiers across the board. Now here recently on eBay, I came across these 3800 watt four channel amplifiers that said they were V12, and they look a lot like the Alpine. So let's take a closer look and see what this thing is all about. What's up guys, today we're going to take a look at this V12 3800 watt 4 channel amplifier. Doesn't even have a brand name, but you can get it off of eBay for less than $70 shipped US. What do you say we open it up, see what it's all about. Strap it up to the dyno. Yeah boy! I have the installation manual here. Everything is in English. Tells you how to extend the amplifier. It's actually bridgeable, so you can run it two channel mode or three channel mode or six channel mode if you want to use passives or four channel mode and troubleshooting guide, stuff like that. It does not have ratings here, unfortunately, but we know that if even if it did, it wouldn't be valid. So let's see. Real interesting thing is on the box, it has model number YH705, and then on the amp, it has YDK705. So which model is it? I don't know, but it, it feels really cheap, as I guess it probably should. It does have uh, some adjustments here. I guess that's the brand, Curl. So here's one end of the amp. You can see crossover, low pass, off, high pass filter, super bass, treble. We have a low input, low output. We have another super bass, because one super bass is not enough. Another treble, and another crossover. On the opposite end, <laughs> we have no protection. I love that. Ground, remote, B+, plus. those are all via the uh, screw down terminals. We have a 35 amp fuse, which is a very odd fuse size. It's hard to tell on the fuse, but that's what it is. And all the other four channels here are screw down terminals as well. Now, those of you who know old school Alpine, Alpine had V12 series. I think it was late 90s they had those, possibly into the early 2000s. So this one appears to try to be stealing some of their thunder because it does look like the Alpine model. And there's some additional adjustments there. It looks like that's fake. Like, I don't know. I guess that's real. I'm going to take those two screws out. But it looks like a sticker. Then it's kind of 3D like there's something really there because those are off center. So let me take those two hex uh, Allen keys out or Allen bolts out and then we'll take a closer look. As we're taking these two bolts out, we notice the acronym for Curl is Keep Unlimited Exultant Rela Lives. What the heck does that mean? This is not a Mickey Mouse program. I think some people may beg to differ on that. However, once we get this cover off, we can see there's three different options for gain, low pass filter, which is 150 hertz down to 40 hertz, high pass filter, 80 hertz up to 1.2 kilohertz. Here's the overall look of the amplifier. As far as dimensions go, 12.5 inches long, 8.5 inches wide, 2.25 inches for the height. Millimeter equivalents are here as well. All right, so as we normally do for our tests, I'm going to turn off the crossovers and the super bass and the treble. But uh, when we do some speaker playbacks, I'll switch those on and see if there's really anything going on. Because you know you got to have some super bass. So before we start the test, we have to step back, do a little Dick Riculous big dummy math. We have a 35 amp fuse, 14.4 volts, that's 504 watts. 
assuming 100% efficiency. Well, take 60% efficiency, 302 watts. Divide that by four, 76 watts per channel is what we're expecting. Now let's fire up the good old SMD Demore Engineering Amplifier Dyno to do our RMS power output testing of this amplifier. Before we do that, make sure you check the video description for links to Wilson Audio merch. Smash me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this content. More like it coming all the time. Now let's talk about the Dyno test. There's three different tests, certified, uncertified, and dynamic. Certified test takes us up to 1% THD. Uncertified takes us up to the clipping point, And dynamic is a dynamic tone mimicking IHF 202 standard. All right, starting off the test, we're gonna do the four channel mode, four ohms. There's no ratings provided, unfortunately. So let's find out what we've got here. Certified test, 1% THD, 45 and 43 watts. <laughs> Next up, we'll run into the uncertified test, which is up to clipping, one kilohertz, four channel mode, all channels driven, two channels loaded down for the test, 45 and 43, exactly the same. This exciting stuff, I know. Let's try dynamic power, one kilohertz, sending a pulse tone into the amp, 14 and a half volts, 48 and 46 watts, so approximately 47 watts times four. Now let's try two ohms, and again, the four channel mode, Two channels on the dyno, two channels on resistors. That way we're getting the full load. Let's find out what we get here. 55 and 51 watts. They're just playing out, lying to you, lying to you, lying to you. And that's why we're here, my friends, to show you what the true numbers are for these amplifiers. Because I know you looking at eBay wondering, what does that 3,800-watt re amp really do? Well, that's why I'm here, because I'm showing you. 55 and 56 watts, so about 53 watts per channel times four at two ohms, but well, dynamic power, one kilohertz, getting ready to show you some dynamics. 64 and 60, not very dynamic. What about four ohm bridge? That's right, bridge to four channels down to two. Both of these amplifier channels are on the dyno. As you can see, it's two outer terminals there on each side. Let's try this certified test. 1% THD, 110, 127. That's a failure about like this clip. I always wondered, how did they video that? Like, did they know she was going to trip or did somebody trip her? I really hope they didn't. Anyway, back to the amp test. Uncertified, 114 and 130 at 14.4 volts. Again, this is the one kilohertz test. Dynamic, let's send a dynamic pulse tone into the amp. Look at this. We're busting 126 watts per channel right at 14.4 volts. So there you go, that's how much power your 3800 watt does. As for the results, skip this sucker is all I can say. Here's all the results on the amp dyno sheet. Don't ask me why I didn't test it at one ohm or two ohms bridged. It's cause it ain't worth wasting your time. Amp ain't gonna work, it's gonna go into protect. So just get over it, okay? Now, let's find out do it bump dough. I think you guys already know, but let's find out anyway. Do it bump dough, Big D. All right, so I have the 3800 watt four channel amplifier hooked up here in a three channel mode. So I've got obviously the ELAC bookshelf speakers here running full range. Have the Savard HiQ six and a half inch sub running uh, bridged on channels three and four. So I've already noticed some really weird uh, noise coming out of, of the high channels. I'm going to let you guys hear it. Flapping the tweeter. I'm gonna turn it down. Let's try a look, which I think you can hear it better. Hear the distortion. Absolute garbage. Now that amp sounded horrible. Hope you guys could hear it. If you couldn't, get your headphones out and listen to it again because it sounded bad. Now let's take off the six screws on the bottom of the amp and take a look. And here you can see 
what a super cheap class AB four channel amp looks like. Not a whole lot here. Check out these caps, 35 volt, 100 micro, 100, I can't talk, a thousand microfarad and a brand I had never heard before. And the other thing is look at this little circuit board here on the amp. It's like they pried it up and then turned it sideways and remounted it. It is the oddest thing I've ever seen, but there you have it. That is what this amp looks like. And again, you need to pass on it. Just to remind you what the Alpine V12 looked like, this is some real amp guts, my friends. You don't have to know anything about amplifiers. Look at this one versus the one I just showed you. You know which one's the real deal. Go with the Alpine. As far as the good stuff, well, it's inexpensive, that's for sure. The bass boost enhanced the THD, and that's always good, not. It looks like an Alpine amp from the 90s, so you might be cheating your friends by showing them that. The RCA output, you can pass through some you know, distortion to your other amps. That's always a good thing. And the screw down terminals. Hey, keep your wires from falling out. That's always a good thing. What about what could be better? <laughs> Literally everything. Because nothing about this amp is any good. So anyway, there you guys have it. This 3800 watt, four channel, V12 curl amplifier from eBay. Please, my friends, do not waste your money on amplifiers like this. I took the plunge for you. You're welcome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you had a little fun with it. I do greatly appreciate your watching, subscribing, and commenting. Till next time, Big D, I'm out of here. Let's try luck, which I think you can hear it better. Hear the distortion? Absolute garbage. I don't want to mess up my speakers. But I do want to try the super bass. Garbage.